Alrighty, what's up everybody? Finley King here. This is just going to be a really quick video. So for Final Cut Pro 10 users, this is something that I don't actually have a great solution to, but I want to show people how I do it because it was something that took me a really long time to figure out and I think Mac doesn't really have this set up a super great way. But anyway, to get right into it, what I'm going to show you is, so when you go to open up Final Cut Pro 10, and it's going to take a second to upload here. Insert the Jeopardy music. Okay, so after you've made a Final Cut Pro 10 project, so right now actually I don't have the, the files that are linked here, um, and that's why it says missing file, but this is just a old project that I have going right here, and it's in my old library, as you can see. So pretty much what I'm going to show you is when your library gets full, when you have a bunch of projects and you're you're ready to start a new project and you want to get rid of your old projects, you probably have the question of how do I delete this old project? How do I delete the old library? Um, or maybe even you created an event and you want to delete pretty much everything. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of Final Cut Pro 10. You can't have it open when you do this. And what you're going to do is you're going to go up to this little Apple icon and you're going to click about this Mac. And then you're going to go over to storage and you're going to hit manage on the hard disk space here and then you have to go into documents and then it's going to take a second to load and right off the bat you're going to see that uh, Final Cut Pro 10 library untitled right there that we're going to actually want to get rid of but to make sure that there aren't any other libraries what we have to do is we have to go to the file browser and you're going to find all the information about Final Cut Pro 10 in movies and then what I do is this is my library right here. See, it's taking up 477.2 megabytes of space. Sometimes when you work with really big libraries and you have a lot of like working files, the backups will take up a lot of space. And essentially like you just want to get in the habit of getting rid of these. I obviously I wait until I've given the project to the client or I've, um, you know, completely uploaded it. If it was like a video for YouTube before I go and do this. If you have a huge hard disk, it's not really that big of a deal, but on most MacBook laptops, they don't have a lot of storage space, so you have to kind of just get good at doing this um, after you release your projects. So what you're going to do is you're going to select this untitled library, and then you're going to go ahead and just drag it to the trash, and then you're going to go into the Final Cut backups, and you're not going to, so this one actually doesn't have any backups in it right now. Um, it's really important that you don't delete these folders, the motion templates or the TV folders, or even the Final Cut backups folder. You wanna delete anything else that's in it though. And then you have to go and take out the trash. So what I just deleted was the library. So what, I'm gonna exit out of this now, and you'll see the library in the trash here. That's an old screen recording as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and empty that trash. And now when I go and start up Final Cut Pro 10 this time, it'll be a fresh library for me to use. Final Cut Pro 10.51. So if you have old or existing projects, see now it says new project, you go in here, there's none of that old media, it's all gone, it's ready to import or a new project. So if you have old stuff sitting around in your Final Cut Pro 10 library and you're like, how the heck do I get rid of it? This is how you do it. Thanks for watching guys, have a great rest of your day.